So, uh, I've gotten quite a few questions on what camera setup I use and how I film all this stuff. And I think just about everything you guys have seen so far has been on this camera right here and just a little bit of it with my cell phone. Um, this is a DJI Osmo Pocket 2, and that's a very fitting name because it is literally a pocket camera. Um, it's normally not on this tripod mount, so it's just this camera part, and it is very easy to film with and then shove right in your pocket and go to work because normally when I'm by myself, I don't have someone else to hold the camera or anything like that. So it is trying to film and then I got to put the camera down and actually work to get to the next step. And with this one, I can shove it right in my pocket, set it on the back of the truck, whatever, very easily. Um, and it's super quick to pull out and point and shoot. I'll show you if I turn it off here, it just goes away like that. Now, if I want to pull it out of my pocket, like I said, normally this whole part's not on it, and uh, shoot so facing forward, it's just pull it out, press this one button, and the gimbal comes up, faces forward, and is filming. If I want to go into selfie mode and talk to you guys, pull it out of my pocket, press this one button here, and it spins right around into selfie mode. And then right here you can see the screen shows selfie mode, which is showing back at you guys right now. And if you press this button three times while you're filming, it spins around into forward-facing mode. So now you can see that way. I know you've probably seen me arguing with the camera, telling it to turn around, and it's not. It's because if you don't press that button in just the right sequence, it doesn't spin around. And the reason I don't just turn the camera around is it has forward and rear microphones. So... If it's in selfie mode facing this way, it is picking up all the audio off of the forward microphones. And if you turn it around like this, and when you're talking, it sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher here trying to show us that off, and it sounds like crap. But to solve that problem, and is this thing going? Okay, that one's going again. To solve that problem, we got this little microphone transmitter here. Um, this clips onto his shirt or wherever. I just have it sitting on the hood of the Jeep for now. But it is automatically synced to this camera. This camera has the receiver for the microphone built into it. So there's nothing else to do other than put this on your shirt and turn it on. And it is automatically recording all the audio, sending it to the camera, and syncing it into the video. So this, this camera is super, super convenient in a lot of ways because it's just dead simple and it's super small. It has a lot of drawbacks. The gimbal's kind of a pain as it floats around and it's hard to line up perfectly accurate because it kind of does what it wants, but super easy, super convenient camera. Now, if we switch cameras, there you go. Uh, what I'm gonna start filming on a lot, a new camera I just got is this one here, which is what we're filming the first part of this video on. It's a GoPro Hero 9 Black. It's whatever the newest GoPro thing is. I'm not 100% sure all the details, but super high quality camera. It shoots in 5K, which I didn't even know 5K was a thing, but it does it. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but it can. Uh, that one there shoots in 4K or whatever, but that one shoots up to 5K and a whole bunch of million things in between. So on this one, it has this case that has like a basically shotgun mic right here built in facing forward that'll pick up the audio of whatever you're saying. But since we know wind noise and truck noise and driving and all that can screw up the audio and make it sound real bad, I've got another wireless clip-on mic. Um, this is the one you're listening to right now on this camera. And this is the one you're listening to right now on this camera. This camera? This camera. Yeah, so this one for the, the GoPro, it does not automatically sync to the GoPro. I have this receiver here that this transmitter is sending the signal to. Then it goes around and plugs into the back of the camera and then embeds the audio into the video. Um, there you go. There. So this one has an external receiver and transmitter. This one has a built-in receiver and all you need is this transmitter. Super simple, super high quality. So back and forth. Uh, this one also has 
a light on the top that's removable it can go off the side or wherever you want to put it it's supposed to have a little diffuser cover that goes over it and uh, of course before i ever used it even once i lost that so hey gopro make your things like stronger please that'd be nice um this one tons of features i don't fully understand but it has record so that i know um i'm also getting a it actually should be in today should be actually at the post office right now a little shotgun microphone that goes on the side because this one here doesn't do a super great a job but a directional on the side because if we are out and about and don't have these on us it's a directional mic so i can point it at someone someone talking over there you should hear someone talking over here you should hear but where the camera's pointing is where it'll pick up audio from we're going to try that out oh also the one cool thing about this camera with this external setup is I have two of these transmitters that are synced to the one receiver. So I can wear this one, Austin or Grumpy or whoever's with me can wear the other one. And both of us can be talking in different places, away from the camera in different directions. And it'll pick up just as clear as what you're hearing now. Actually not now, because you're hearing this one now. Just as clear as what you're hearing now on this one, because there's two of these that go to that one receiver there. Um, I'm going to be so screwed up trying to edit this video in the back and forth because I really don't know how to do all that. Um, the other thing I did with this camera to make it really easy is put it on this quick release mount here that it's a twist and then there's a magnet pulled in there and it pops off. So I've got this same basically receiver. Now I've got one in the center of the Jeep on the dash, in the center of the tow truck on the dash, on my magnetic mount and on the tripod that my wife gave me. So this camera I can pull out drop in here this is your selfie stick carry around film thing stick open it up into a tripod set it down uh, it extends out does all kinds of crazy stuff and then when we go to get back in the truck to drive off I can just give this a twist pop it off uh, if I want to film back at us in the truck um, Put on the dash facing us and it's going to have both of us in the shot if i want to do like a time lapse of driving it locks in that same mount facing forward get that if i want to stick it to the side of something i got the magnetic mount that it just pops in just the same or if i want to use the big tripod my wife gave me it locks onto that just the same so for me filming first person um i'm going to use this one this one here a whole lot because it's super easy to hold super small to throw in my pocket and very convenient for that type of filming for doing more of the better bigger shots and carrying around talking to the camera like this I'll probably use this one a whole bunch because it's got all the mounts that it quick releases to and it's supposed to be a much higher quality i'm sure in this video here the the lighting between there you are. The lighting between this camera and this camera and the coloring is going to be slightly different because the sun's coming one way into here and shadow from this side. The audio might be a little different too because we have two different wireless mics here and I'm not sure which one sounds better or not. That might have sounded loud when I dropped them on the hood. Sorry. So I think that's kind of all I got as far as audio and all that stuff that I use. And I got a lot to learn with it. This is a brand new camera here. So I'll probably default to this one a bunch. I'll try filming a bunch with this one to just learn it, get it figured out and uh, see what we can do with it. I think between the two of these, I've got a pretty good setup to cover most everything I need to do. So since now I don't know which one I'm even filming on anymore, uh, we're going to call that it for this quick little video just to answer some questions on what I use and say we will see you later.